Hey y'all, welcome to Pleiadian Point of View. I'm Peyton with Peyton Energetics, and as you can probably guess, I'm a Pleiadian channel. So in today's Point of View, the Pleiadians wanted to talk to us a little bit about the extreme energies that we have been experiencing over the past couple of weeks, even really about a month. And the first thing that they wanted us to understand is what these energies are all about. What is happening with these energies? Because if you have checked your space weather over the past couple of days, you may notice that the entire chart is lit up in red. So we are seeing energies coming in from all sides of the planet that we've really never experienced before. And as the Pleiadians always say, it is only getting stronger. So they wanted to let us know that we are really doing an excellent job of handling these energies and that the reality of the situation, as the Pleiadian said, is that we are in a pressure cooker right now. So the way they described it is that we are being bombarded on every side of the planet by intense energies. So this is something that so many people have kind of been rolled over by these energies over the past couple of weeks. And the guides wanted us to know that this is something that we are using to test ourselves. So according to the guides, one of the reasons why this energy is happening, especially the galactic energies, the energies coming off of the sun and what our galactic family is sending to us is intended to give us the opportunity to purge any remaining density that we are holding. So one thing that you may have noticed in these energies is that you are experiencing more negative thoughts than you have in a long time. And this caught me totally by surprise a couple of days ago when it felt like every negative thought I had ever had in my life was coming up all at the same time. And after a couple hours of this, it became so ridiculous that I had to start laughing. I'm like, there is an energetic reason for this. And so when I asked the Pleiadians about it, they said, that is what these energies are doing. That is their purpose. It's to show us where we are still holding on to fear-based beliefs and to give us the opportunity to release that. So these intense energies that we've experienced over the past 30 days, we are just starting to integrate them. And these energies are giving us the choice. It's a self-test, according to the Pleiadians. Do we choose to finally let these belief systems go? Or are we going to hold on to fear-based thoughts and beliefs and anchor ourselves to a lower timeline? So we are testing ourselves with these energies to see, are we ready to finally let this density go? Now, according to the Pleiadians, there are a few other side effects of the energies that we are experiencing or some things that we may be noticing over the coming weeks as we integrate all of these incredibly challenging energies. Now, the first thing that the Pleiadians said we may want to keep an eye out for is a struggle or difficulties with the physical body. And I know this is something that I have heard from so many of my friends, my students, and my clients, is that people are having absolute fits with the physical body. So the guides wanted us to understand what was going on here, or at least what one of the contributing factors is. And they said, we are in the process of changing our base structure. We are going from being carbon-based life forms to being crystalline. And they said, in order for that to happen, we have to change from the inside out, meaning all of our cells have to change, our tissues have to change, our bones have to change. And they said, this just isn't a comfortable process. So for that reason, as we become more crystalline, as we move through our ascension process, our body is changing fundamentally. And they said, this is just not a whole lot of fun. So if you are one of the many people who are really struggling with the physical body right now, and pretty much everyone I have talked to lately has 
expressed some form of physical weirdness going on with them, then just know that these energies are probably a contributing factor. So according to the guides, this is a time to really nurture our bodies. Give your body whatever it needs because our bodies are struggling to upgrade, to make sense of these energies that feel very foreign to our body. And so a lot of times the body acts out. It doesn't know how to process these energies. So things will go a little sideways at times with the physical body as our bodies try to adjust to the new normal. So just know that that is something that is happening as a result of these energies to just let you know what one of the contributing factors may be. Now, something else the guides have said that we will probably notice as a result of these incredibly intense planetary energies is that the 3D world is starting to get farther and farther away from us. So they said for the awakened community who has been doing so much work over the past couple of years, we can expect to see the 3D world getting farther and farther away. So the way this may look or how this may manifest for you may be that you just notice as you go about your daily life that the 3D drama just isn't there anymore. The world is getting so much more quiet. And it used to be that as lightworkers and starseeds, we could find this peace and quiet as we did our inner work. But now the guide said, you will notice it as you go about your daily life. Even when you go out in the 3D world, it is like it is a different place. This is some evidence of what the Pleiadians have been talking about for the past two years about the separation of timelines. We are starting to get farther and farther away from anything that is not a vibrational match to us. So we are starting to see the results, the manifestations of all that hard work we've been doing. And one of those manifestations that is going to be increasingly clear is that you will start to see less and less of that 3D drama, the 3D noise. And you know what I'm talking about. So this is a great manifestation that we are looking forward to is seeing less and less of the disorder, the disarray of the lower timelines. The lower timelines are moving away from us. And finally, the other thing the Pleiadians said that we will notice as a result of the integration of energies that we are going through right now is they said that we may notice that we are in a bit of a void. So you may feel like you don't really know what direction to go in. Things are being cleared out of your life, but you're not sure what the next step is. And the guides have said that is to be expected because everything that doesn't serve you and serve your growth is being removed from you. So the guides have said not to worry if you feel a little lost right now, a little disoriented, a little bit like you don't really know what's going on anymore. You're just here. That is to be expected in these energies. The guides have said that we are doing so much work at other levels that our daily life is just not where our resources are needed right now. So if you are someone who is experiencing this and it can be a little weird, it can be a little disorienting, The guides have said, all we need to do right now is be. As the Pleiadians say, the most important thing for us to be doing right now is releasing any remaining resistance, any of those fear-based beliefs that we're still holding on to. Now is the time to focus on releasing them. It's time to let them go. So these energies are helping us do that. And the way they do that is by bringing it to the surface, or as I like to think of it, kind of slapping us in the face with it. So everything that we are still holding on to is going to be coming up. And that's a good thing because once we see it, once we forgive it and make peace with it, we let it go forever. And that is what these energies are all about. This is our final opportunity As we are coming to the end of this transition 
where the timelines are separating, we are being given our final opportunities to release what doesn't serve us or to choose to hold on to things that weigh us down and glue us to lower timelines. This is a time of choice. So that is what the Pleiadians wanted to share in this week's point of view to help us understand the energies we have just come through and what we will be processing and integrating over the next couple of weeks. So I hope this helped you. I will see you soon. Bye.